In other words, we're muslin' in. That I doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's happening, YouTubers? Today I got a notification that a package had been delivered from Walmart.com, so let's crack this thing open and take a look at what's inside. That's right, it's the new Hasbro Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive Joe Fixit based on his appearances in the Incredible Hulk comic. Now, some of you may or may not know, I'm a huge Hulk mark and Hulk fanatic. Not only is he the strongest Avenger, but he is the best one in my opinion. See what I did there? <laughs> Stupid. Anyways, I was hyped to get this in because growing up I was a huge fan of The Incredible Hulk, especially the animated series, and my first exposure to Joe Fixit was through the animated series. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, roll the footage. Check out what a little power shopping can do. They call me Mr. Fixit. Uh, who's Fixit? So the figure is your standard Hasbro Marvel Engines windowless display for a deluxe figure. You see the artwork of the Joe Fixit Hulk on the box, and then of course the renders of the figure. I can't wait though till they do away with this and bring back the plastic clamshells just because aesthetically it looked good overall. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Alright, that's enough about that. Let's go and get Joe Fixit out of the box. So right out of the box, he does come with an additional set of hands. So two sets of hands overall. We have the open hands to grip his Tommy gun and the fisted hands. And speaking of Tommy gun, which is what I believe this is called because it's derived from the Thompson, was, which is what it's actually called because... I'm pretty sure. If I'm not, let me know in the comments below. But he comes with a magazine round disattached to it. It's easy to assemble. You see the parts lined up. You can easily just match it up and then just clip it on there and you should be good to go. So Joe Fix It does come with two head sculpts, which you love to see because it's a deluxe figure and this makes it feel like more of a deluxe figure with more accessories. Anyways, the first head sculpt we're going to take a look at though is one without his fedora or his hat and he's kind of just cheesing for the camera. I do like the head sculpt of this. He's got the slick back hair, and I like the couple, like, two strands going down. Looks very dope. And the second head sculpt we're going to take a look at is the one with the hat. So he's got the hat tilted sideways, or a little bit off to the side, which looks really good. He's also mean mugging as well. Looks a little bit meaner. Kind of looks like a mob boss, but damn, they, they did a great job with the head sculpt. Much better than the Gamerverse version. Now I'm going to take a look at the rest of the figure at first glance. Yes, it's just a repaint of that Gamerverse Build-A-Figure Joe Fix-It that came out in 2020. But I'm glad I waited. I was always on the fence about that figure just because aesthetically the face sculpt didn't really resonate with me or say Hulk. Whereas this did. And this one actually has the pinstripes whereas the build figure didn't. So I'm glad I waited because lo and behold we have our definitive comic book Joe Fix-It. I'm not going to dive too much into articulation because it's the same type of range of movement you've seen on these deluxe suited bodies. They're all single jointed but they still have a nice solid range. Except for the torso there's not going to be any ab crunch forward or backward much because of this rubber overlay of the suited overlay but it still has a good range i didn't spend too much time on articulation but i will spend a lot of time with size comparisons because like i said i'm a huge hulk mark so there's a lot of hulk figures to go through <sighs> first size comparison here's joe fix it standing next to a couple of incredible hulks we have the legends 20th anniversary on the left with the head sculpt from paul harding and then a soft goods tank top that a very special friend of mine made and on the right we have the 80th anniversary hulk which is one of my favorites just because I prefer this tone of green better than this one, and I actually do like this head sculpt better than the 20th anniversary. But let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. And in terms of height, this should be accurate in my opinion, because Joe Fixit, I believe, is like 6'6 in the comics, and then Incredible Hulk starts anywhere between 7 to 8 feet tall, so he should naturally be bigger than Joe Fixit. And next size comparison, here's Joe Fixit standing next to more Hulk figures. We have the Target exclusive Red Hulk on the left, and the latest Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest Grey Hulk on the right. And I'm glad I actually sold the original Grey Hulk I had, because I actually like this one a lot better. And I know the grays kind of don't match, but for old time's sake, let's see what a head swap between these two would look like. And when doing the head swap, the Grey Hulk peg is actually bigger than the one on the Joe Fixit body, so it is going to run a little bit loose on there. And conversely, since the peg is too small on here, it's going to be too small to peg this head sculpt onto the Avengers Anniversary Hulk, which, I mean, it doesn't make sense anyways because the gray zone match, but still. And just for another comparison and swap, when putting this one on there, it doesn't look too bad, actually. It's just the problem is, proportionally, his head's a little too big for the rest of his body, and of course, the peg is too big, but you can always use blue sticky tech, but I don't know. Let me know what you all think in the comments below. Do you think the head swap works? And next size comparison, here's Joe Fixit standing next to the Maestro Hulk. 
And I had another Hulk here that I wanted to do a size comparison of. It was the Professor Hulk or Smart Hulk that Toy Biz had. But I had it somewhere here. I bought it from New York Comic Con. I don't know where the hell it went. But the reason why I mentioned that is because Hasbro's already tackled the Maestro, the Red Hulk. Joe fixed it. Naturally, I think the next one to do is Professor Hulk or Smart Hulk. Some of y'all like to call it. Let me know what y'all think. And next size comparison. Here's Joe Fixit standing next to She-Hulk and the Thing. And the significance of this size comparison is in one of the episodes of the animated series with She-Hulk, Joe Fixit was first introduced. Now to introduce some MCU figures into the fray, here's Joe Fixit standing next to the Figwarts Professor Hulk on the left and the Marvel Legends Age of Ultron Hulk on the right. Next size comparison, here's Joe Fixit standing next to other deluxe or bigger Build-A-Figures with suited bodies. We have the Mr. Hyde Build-A-Figure on the left and the Kingpin Retro Card on the right. And surprisingly enough, Joe Fixit's reusing the same shoes from Mr. Hyde, not from Kingpin. And now for some more suited body comparisons, here he is standing next to the Retro Card to Hammerhead on the left, who's also rocking the pinstripes, and the Bruce Banner from the Beyond Earth's Mightiest Heroes Avengers Wave, and Hasbro, please stop using these suited bodies, these feet suck. <laughs> that is the only way I can get them to stand. I actually had an idea for a head swap, <laughs> so I put the Bruce Banner head on the Hammerhead suited body with the pinstripes, and check it out, matching bros. <laughs> Now time for a random ass size comparison that literally only one other person in the world understands reference to. But here he is the next couple of My Hero Academia figures from McFarlane Toys. We have Deku, not Todoroki, and Ochako. My shit in heart. And last size comparison, here's Joe Fixit standing next to a couple of deluxe figures I've acquired this year. We have the deluxe blob on the left and the destroyer on the right. And these two figures have easily been one of my favorite figures so far from the Marvel Legends line this year. All right, so my overall thoughts on the figure, I like it. But then again, I'm a Hulk fanatic, so I like anything Hulk-related. But it is nice to see we have our definitive comic book Joe Fix-It figure because the one that came out in the Build-A-Figure wave back in 2020 was okay, and it was in the game Verse style. Whereas this one, we have our definitive Hulk comic book version of Joe Fix-It. And also, it's at the $4 price point, which I find is reasonable because you don't have to pay that Build-A-Figure wave price. And not to mention that Joe Fix-It figure was about $120 with the wave or $130, depending where you bought it from. Whereas this version, you get for 40 bucks, and he has more accessories and objectively looks better in my opinion. But let me know what you think in the comments below. YouTubers, sound off. If you like what you see, be sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead, subscribe. Thanks for watching.